Yum, yum! Hey, this is Ed Ferrari, and in this quick video, I thought I would demonstrate how we can access the transform controls of a mesh fusion item. Now, the mesh fusion item, if I select it uh, and go into polygons mode and try to lasso select some of the polygons, you'll notice that I actually can't uh, select any of the polygons because this is a procedural surface and it's generated by the fusion source items. Um, but that doesn't mean we can't manipulate the actual fusion item itself. Uh, we do have the ability to uh, transform the, uh, the procedural surface. So with the fusion item selected, I'll scroll all the way to the bottom of the fusion properties. And there's transform control right here. If I expand that, uh, you can see we have position, rotation, and scale. So if I press 5 to go into items mode, and then press W for move, uh, and I start to move the fusion item, uh, you can see that the uh, position values change. Uh, so I can even rotate this a little bit, like so. Uh, so that gives us some rotation values in the X. Um, the problem is if I press Control F to bring up my Fusion Pi menu, and then choose Toggle Source Visibility, uh, all of our source items that are responsible for creating the surface are actually still at the um, the world origin, which is where uh, we initially constructed this fusion uh, object. Uh, so there is a, uh, a way to get the fusion items, the source items, to uh, conform to the actual procedural fusion item. And it's right beneath the uh, position, rotation, and scale uh, channel input fields. So here we have realigned source meshes. If I click that, you can see the uh, the fusion source items have kind of jumped to where the fusion item is. Uh, so now if I just press Control F once again and toggle the source visibility so that it's invisible, uh, and then maybe make this cylinder um, visible, and then in items mode we can uh, move this or rotate it. Let's press E for rotate. Alt-S to go into a selection action center, uh, and then I'll just uh, rotate this a little bit, like so. Uh, you can see now we can further uh, adjust the uh, fusion item, and everything updates uh, live. So I can also just scale this inward, like so, and we can continue to uh, model with Mesh Fusion uh, in a different area of the uh, 3D viewport. So that was using the transform uh, controls of the fusion item and realigning the source meshes. I hope that was helpful. Yum, yum!